Welcome to another CAPSITE interview. Today I'm with Ferdinand Van West and he's with Morelli and Melvin. And so Ferdinand, can you tell us a little bit about your background and how you ended up with um, Morelli and Melvin? Yeah, I'm actually um, originally from Holland, the, the Netherlands. And uh, I, I started naval architecture in Holland. And I was also involved with, uh, you know, youth sailing and Olympic sailing. So I've been sailing my whole life uh, since I was a pretty young age, like six years old in the Optimist. And then, you know, um, graduated uh, my bachelor's and then was also at the same time combining that with Olympic campaigns in the 49er. So I was always interested in high performance sailing. And then um, my... Uh, Olympic campaign, uh, you know, we always struggling to get enough funding. And, and then we also, uh, you know, did, did also did uh, catamaran sailing in F-18s. And that's really when, when you know, uh, more the, yeah, when I started sailing catamarans. And then we also, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I also was, I was also active on big boats. And then, um, then started studying, then actually did my master's in Southampton in uh, the University of Southampton in the UK. Uh, and then that was like probably 2011-12. Uh, and at the same time, I was also working for uh, a brand called NACRA, which actually was based here in California. And they were bought by Dutch investors and um, uh, and they continued building boats here in California, actually. But um, yeah, I was working for them. And that's also how I got in touch with uh, uh, Pete Melvin, and uh, yeah, one thing led into another and uh, started working for Pete um, uh, end 2013, uh, beginning of 14. And uh, so, yeah. So you've seen a lot of evolution in catamarans, obviously, in your role and in multi -hulls. Um So within your role, what kind of boats have you been involved in? Um, well, from... Uh, beginning, I was actually the uh, the Nacraf 18, the Infusion. Uh, I was always racing those as well. So as a sailor, uh, we were developing those boats uh, to increase the performance of those boats, trying new dagger boards, new rudders, improving the sail plan and the sail design. And um, then when, when I started working for PETA, I really got involved with... Uh, newer designs um you know the first product i did were, were together with pete was actually the ac we call it ac35 because it was the class rules for the ac62 we then rolled into the ac50 and um yeah the first project I was involved with eminem was uh, rapido 60. um okay. so yeah that, that was an exciting project and um then yeah, then did more, uh, more NACRA, NACRA 17. Uh, we also did a, a boat called the Superfoiler. Um, I've been involved with, you know, uh, gunboat modifications, new, new foils, and also, um, the, yeah, the HHs. Um, and we also did a boat called like the TF10, which is also a trimaran, uh, a foiler um so yeah we have, we wow. have seen a lot of projects a lot going years. on can you tell yeah. me a little bit more about the rapidos uh yeah yeah the rapido is actually a really cool concept it's you know it's really you know uh paul coke and pete uh, melvin will really conceptualize the idea of like having a, a trimaran a cruising trimaran bigger than you know 40 feet and we started out with a 60 footer where you know the saloon and you know your main deck is one walkthrough, actually similar to a catamaran, but then you know worked out on a, on a on a trimaran concept, and um, so so you have a complete walkthrough through the entire um, main hull, which is actually quite different to other trimarans, particularly racing trimarans, where usually you have the beam going continuous through the hull. And with the Rapido 60, we, you know, integrated them into the bulkhead. So, you know, the whole walkthrough through the Rapido is, 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 yeah, quite innovative actually. Um, so that's, that, that's pretty well known about, um, you know, well, not pretty well known about a uh, Rapido, but, you know, the, the, 
that's a, a interesting feature of that boat. And yeah, what's nice about the trimaran is that you know it's it's a little bit more high performance to me at least for than a catamaran because you know with the with the with the three hulls um you know the the windward float is quickly always out of the water so the boat maneuvers a little bit quicker and accelerates a little bit quicker as well and um <clears throat> yeah depending how you you know, design the boat and, and how powerful you make the sail plan. But yeah, in, in general, those boats perform a little bit better than catamarans. Um, so the, yeah, they're a little bit more dynamic. Uh, to say so you got ahead of me there because I was going to ask you what were the special qualities of a, a trimaran that make it a good cruising boat. So let's go into that a little bit more then. Um, who, who are you thinking of as a customer when you're designing the Rapido? Um, yeah, it's a good question. Um, yeah, really, you know, like when we started this out, it was, well, ma mainly Paul Coke was, was you know, the customer we were designing for at the beginning uh, and and ourselves. Um, you know, Paul, Paul Coke really mm -hmm. says like it's designed by sailors and built by sailors for sailors. Um, so, yeah, it's really, in the beginning, it was really just us, you know, developing that concept and Paul, uh, the first boat was actually just, just for the owners. And then they, you know, really had to market the boat. So, so in, in, yeah, in the beginning, there wasn't really a market. So that's quite, you know, uh, it's almost like a disruptor, you know, with Paul Coke, it, it took a while as well for the concept really to evolve and, and people to get interested in because it was quite different, but you know, you can tell, particularly with the Rapido 40, it's it's really taking off and, and people are really interested in it. Um, so, you know, you have you have people who come from catamarans who are interested in, in a trimaran, and, but also people from uh, the monohull uh, uh, world, you know, who, who are more interested in getting a, a multi-hull, but they don't want to go straight to a catamaran, uh, but they want, they want something a little bit more dynamic and then they get interested in 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 a rapido trimaran that's cool because yeah i'm thinking back it, is the evolution kind of like it was for catamarans that there was you know a few people building and a few people interested and as the designs improve more and more people will see the benefit do you see trimarans going that same way yeah 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 it's slowly happening actually but yeah it's taking taking more and more interest for sure yeah so when you're thinking about a catamaran versus a trimaran, what are some of the, you talked about um, a trimaran being more dynamic. Um, what are some of the other elements of trimaran that make it um, more different from a catamaran and, and perhaps more enticing to a sailor? Um, well, it's like the, yeah, you know, it's, it's a little bit hard to describe when, when you talk about dynamics, you know, but, you know, a trimaran tends to heal over a little bit more. And, uh, you know, uh, because of the free hulls, one is always out of the water. Therefore, you know, it, you know, it quickly tacks a little bit better, depending on, you know, the appendages design. Uh, with, 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 with a trimaran, you have a little bit more options with uh, the daggerboard configuration. You can have a one daggerboard in the center hull, or you can have uh, daggerboards in the floats and no center board, or you can have all three. You can have two rudders or 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 three rudders, or or just one, like the Rapido 60 has one rudder um, and one daggerboard, but the Rapido 40 has like uh, these curved daggerboards uh, in the floats and no center board, and which, which improved the performance a lot because you know then you're able to do different foil sections different profiles uh, to get more um, hydrodynamic lift out, out of those uh, to increase the performance so yeah you have, you have a lot more configuration options and you know one thing what makes the Rapido 60 also better performing is also just the weight they, they tend to be a little bit lighter than catamarans um, depending on how you build them, uh, but uh, the, the Rapido 60 in general was, was is a pretty light boat for a 60 footer. 
What about livability? That tends to be one of the big pluses with a catamaran. How does a trimaran sort of stack up against that? Yeah, that's true. I mean, actually, I think we calculated before, you know, the living space of Rapido 60 was actually pretty similar to a 60 foot catamaran. It, it's a little bit harder to, you know, to put in an, enough accommodations, you know, to compete against that with, with a catamaran, you know, like <laughs> some catamarans have like four uh, cabins and, and four bathrooms and all that stuff. Yeah. And that, that's a little bit hard on a Rapido 60. So, you know, if, if you really want four cabins or four bathrooms, then, you know, the, the, then it becomes a little bit harder. But if you just focused on two cabins or three cabins, and um, yeah, the the, the liv livability on that boat is actually a lot better. Uh, well, not better, but competitive. And also, the saloon is is actually pretty big. Like every time it, you see everybody, everybody sees the Rapido sixty on paper, and then once they get on board, they're like, "Whoa, this this is really big, actually." Um, so even in width, the the saloon size is actually really comparable to a, a sixty foot catamaran. And then the, what makes the Rapido 60 actually, um, what is a nice element of the Rapido 60 is like, you just have a lot of storage because of the trimer and hull shape, you know, it, it, it tapers down to the bottom. So you have like actually a big bilge. So you have like, you know, a, a pretty big engine room. And then behind and in front of that, you also have like um, a lot of storage. So if good, you're- yeah. Good place for wine. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, a lot, lot of stuff. Yeah, but you know, we have a lot of clients and customers who just you know cruise around the world. You know, they just they live on the boat. They go to uh, you know the Caribbean and and or the you know uh, the Bora Bora Islands, and you know you're just taking long journeys. Then actually, you know, a Rapido sixty you know has so much storage, so you can bring so much stuff with you. It's it's pretty interesting as well so you can carry a bigger payload than you can on a catamaran or is a trimaran still weight sensitive yeah it's still weight sensitive yeah we, we still you know set certain weights as a payload so you cannot necessarily go over it but you, you just have more room to yeah easily ac accessible and get stuff from down below if you want to got it do you have a, do you personally have a favorite model um necessarily i mean i do really like the rapido 40 because it's like you know an evolution of of all the rapidos and um yeah it's, that one i came out really well it's also a little bit more high performance with the curved dagger boards and the floats right so um yeah it's probably currently my favorite oh, that's cool <laughs> and it sounds like uh, trimaran sort of maintains that sensation of sailing that you kind of lose in a catamaran sometimes they heal a bit and is that true so people who love the sense of monohull sailing do you still get that with the trimaran yeah yeah exactly yeah no they, you definitely have a little bit more of the acceleration the higher performance in, in trimaran than than say a catamaran it depends which catamaran you compare with you right. know like some of our HHs and gunboats, they're, they're pretty powerful these days too, with all those dagger boards and bigger rigs. So they, they definitely get up there. But with, you know, Rapido 60, it's actually relatively un, underpowered compared to those boats. You still have pretty high performance. So it's definitely the performance side that so makes the Rapido, uh, yeah, it's a good advantage on that boat for sure. Uh, but, it's, but it's hard to compare apples and apples. That's yeah, I mean. well, and that's like, where I think people need to figure out what they want, which I think can be tricky sometimes. So how how do you help people sort of decide between trimarans and catamarans? Is there is there a uh, a straightforward way to figure that out? Or um, well, it depends. Like you know, well, it really depends a little bit on the budget, and right. then um, you know what what they're looking for. If they're more cruising orientated or a little bit more performance racing orientated. So, you know, a lot of our HH customers that they, they love to go cruising with a family one week and then the next week they want to go um, sail the BVI spring regatta. Um, so, you know, you have those customers and then um, you also, um, yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a mixed 
but yeah, and, and it depends also like if they want to do uh, sail by themselves or have uh, a boat captain and uh, sail with them as well. Um, so yeah, it's it, it's, a, it's a little bit of a mix. Um, and probably the Rapido 60 is a little bit right in between there and, okay. and the Rapido 50 as well. Um, yeah. So do you ever see trimarans becoming as common as catamarans have? Um, that's a little bit hard, I think. Like, like one downside of the of the rapidos is sometimes a little bit the width of the boat. Right. They're, they're pretty wide. So, you know, getting a good uh, mooring or, well, mooring not so much, but more just, you know, uh, a slip in the marina is, is a little bit harder. Right. Typically, you want to get an end tie you know we you know the rapido 60 and uh, no, the rapido 50 and 40 are you know you can fold them but that's oh, okay. that's still you know a bit of work to unfold and fold you know it's right. the same as the corsair trimaran so so that's you know you really need to be passionate about uh, trimarans and if you want to be doing that you know unfolding and folding right because you're looking uh, at call outs around the world would get tricky as well uh yeah yeah that's a little bit trickier too um but not necessarily i mean you you, you know a lot of marinas did got bigger and then they're more able to do that but right. yeah it's 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 another element for sure but um but yeah for the haul out for folding for the folding trimarans it's actually pretty straightforward these okay. days um but yeah where do you see um, multi-hull design going over the next 10 years or so? What what are you excited by? Um, Well, yeah, it's like, well, definitely the trimaran concept, the, the Rapido, that's definitely a nice direction it's going. Um, you know, we, we're doing, currently we're doing more and more, uh, you know, boats with, you know, where we explore more of the, you know, the foil design aspect. Um, so, you know, that's more the performance side is, is more the foils, uh, you know, the, on the cruising aspect, you know, we, we're getting more and more performance out of the boats as well in terms of, you know, just, you know, getting weight out of the boat, um, yeah. high performance just by better hull design, um, more optimized rigs. So, yeah, that's, it's, yeah, it's actually pretty exciting. You know, we have made a lot of process over the last couple of years with that and that's definitely uh, tr tricking down to more the cruising catamarans as well and uh, yeah, currently we do a lot of power boats as well with with foils as well um so yeah it's yeah pretty... oh, cool it sounds like um i had no idea that there was so much happening with trimarans i always think of them as sort of the old 60s boats that were always um kind of heavy and and sort of not the best of anything so it's really exciting yeah right yeah <laughs> sound like hear where it's going so how can people learn more about what's happening with you guys at morelli and melvin um well we do have our website morelli okay. and uh, dot com. um needs to be updated but soon okay. we have a new website i think and um uh, yeah we're, we're active on social media where we frequently post our new projects and or share stuff from our clients Cool. Well, thank you so much for talking to us today. I really appreciated you taking the time. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for your interest and time. Oh, 